who would you say is like the toughest competitor? You know that I've went that against. Yeah, go up against. <laughs> Both, of course. You know what? And, and that's the thing. It's not like he does anything spectacular to throw you off a game or nothing. Mm -hmm. Because he's a guy that you're going to talk to in the car room, you're, you're going to dare, he's going to joke, laugh, whatever. Yeah. But the presence he brings to, to, to track and field and to the stadium, just a different level. What up, peeps? Welcome to another episode of Next Friday. Now, this week, we're joined by a special guest, Mr. Brendan Rodney. Brendan. All right, thank you for having me. Yes, man. <laughs> Welcome to Next Friday. So, Brendan, you are, and I'm going to say, I'm going to say Jamaican Canadian <laughs> sprint champion. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, I mean, my parents are both from Jamaica. Right. I spend a lot of time in Jamaica. Um, and other, other than really running for Canada, I'm, I'm here in Jamaica. <laughs> so outside of representing Canada, Brendan, a full yardy. <laughs> Trust me, a full yardy. <laughs> so Brendan, <laughs> I, w I want you to just, um, well, give us a little background yeah. as to who Brendan is. You know, before the whole track and field. Oh, well, you know, Brendan is a, I would, I would call myself a scholar, um, student, athlete. I have a master's degree in exercise science, a person who's always looking to give back to his community. You know, um, I remember in 2016, after the Olympics, I did a toy drive at, at the hospital, giving okay. back to the, the, the kids, you know. So those are the, the type of persons that I am. In, in, yeah. you know. We're always willing to give back and, 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 and looking for different ways to better myself and, and the people around me. Definitely, definitely. So, in terms of, you know, your Jamaican parentage, um, mm. where, where in Jamaica they hail from? Uh, my father comes from Trelawney. I'm okay. from Trelawney and mother comes from St. Mary. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, we, we, well, we don't have the same last name, but coincidentally, my father is from Chilani. Yeah. A place called Jackson Town in Chilani. Yeah. And my mother is from <laughs> St. Mary. Which place? A place called Caron Hall. Okay. <laughs> Guys inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so <laughs> what I tell you, <laughs> coincidence. Talk to us it's about getting into old track and field vibe though. I know? mean, track and field was, you know, I was always fast, you know, growing up. But you know, you play football and you're the fastest man on the field. <laughs> Or you're, you're playing basketball, you're the fastest man on the court. So I was always fast growing up and I remember like playing catch and throwing the ball and people throw the ball so far I couldn't catch and I'd be like, who do you think I am? Donovan <laughs> Bailey? You know, so um, I guess it was just always instilled in me that maybe I was going to do track and field one day in my life. Yeah. Um, and then eventually, you know, I got older and I, I, I seen people running and I said I must be faster than you. And I, that's just basically how, how it started. So, all right, so you, you, you tried out for the track team yeah. at, at, at what age? Uh, I, Officially? I, well, I, I, I did high jump first. Okay. So, but I tried out for, to run and I was probably about 16. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We know that you specialize in the 200. Yeah. So, talk to us about that. How you, how you, how you choose? How you choose the 200 or did the 200 <laughs> choose you I, as people I, always like to I say think, i think the 200 chose me because <laughs> you know being tall yeah uh, i mean i'm not the, the biggest guy either so you know just the fact that i'm not getting out the blocks as fast as everybody else um the 200 just gave me more opportunity to be good yeah, <laughs> so yeah, yeah. um i think it just ended up choosing me and and, and i loved it because you know, it gave me an opportunity to go out there and compete against people, and that's what I love doing. Yeah. You know, and competing at a high level. So, yeah. So when when you when you actually decided to go into track and field, though, because mm -hmm. um, I know parents, they usually <laughs> say, you know, the, you know the traditional jobs, the careers they yeah, wanted yeah. to be, whether lawyer, doctor, you know what have you. Mm -hmm. When they decided that, yo, 
track and field, you know, yes. serious about track and field. Mm-hmm. What was the, the, the reaction like from, from parents, uh, family, close you know, family? My, my mom is big on education, so still, so know. you know, <laughs> get your degree, finish, do this, do that, right. and then anything you want to do after that, open. Yeah, because no one can take away education. That was all I was saying. Um, so, you know, that was always the only thing I had to do. If I, after I finish my school, yeah. Can take anything I want to take serious. I'll be a crafty, <laughs> but you know, school is the as, thing. as long as you can get the education. I see that you have a master's, so yeah, the man never play with the education thing, yeah, yeah, knock yeah. it out the park. <laughs> <laughs> I remember say track and field, you can be up now and down, yeah. you are injured. That's you the thing, so, <laughs> and you know, I realize a lot um, with track and field, like you can make money, but the, the big thing is about it is what you do with the money when you make it. Right. You know, if you don't invest it, um, eventually you're going to either be back working a nine to five <laughs> or you're going to have to try and do something in track and field spectacular to make back some more money. So right, right. as long as you, you, you put your money to use, um, eventually it will come back to you. So I mean, if you're in track and field for 15 years, let's say, and you're making money for 15 years and the money we you put in 15 years ago, mm-hmm. when you're done, it'll be there for you when you retire. So. Plus, um, plus interest. You can invest it the right way. Yeah. <laughs> because they can invest and yeah. incur some losses as well. So Yeah, I mean, so, I think that's part of the bargain though, you know? Definitely, definitely. <laughs> if, if, if you do, you know, everybody knows that when you, you go into certain things, you're, you're going to lose. You're not always going to be up. Um, so you just take your, your, your wins and your losses together and right. it, it right. ends up turning around something good. Since you're in track and field though, what... Would you say is the highlight of your career? Like, uh, I mean, you probably have many highlights. Yeah, that, exactly. But, but what, 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 is a, the, what stands out for you the most? So. Uh, I, I want I'll group my medals together as as yeah. the highlight of my career. I think the medal of the Olympic medal. I have an Olympic bronze. That, from, and remind us of the year in twenty sixteen. Twenty sixteen. Uh, Olympic bronze in the four by one really. I have Olympic silver from Tokyo last year. Mm-hmm. I have bronze medal from world championships in 2015 and then i have a gold medal from this year world championships in 2022 yeah eugene so you, you know we won the world championships in the four by one relay so i think those were highlights of my career but you know i think i would love to add to it by putting in some individual accolades uh, in the 200 100 you know i put my name out there as well with that definitely yeah who would you say is like the toughest competitor you know that I've went against. Yeah, yeah go up against <laughs> both, of course. And what what was the like leading up to <laughs> to the actual race? You know, you know what, and, and that's the thing. It's not like he does anything spectacular to throw you off a game or nothing, mm-hmm. or nothing. Because he's a guy that you're gonna talk to in the car room. You're, you're gonna dare. He's gonna joke, laugh, whatever. Right. But the presence he brings to, to to track and field and to the stadium just a different level I mean you're in the race with him and and no matter what shape you're in he's gonna be confident that he's gonna beat you and you can come on your A game today but he's gonna come with a game to beat you too so you know and 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 then he always has a crowd on his side right right the crowd favorite (laughs) yeah so he's definitely the tough toughest competitor I've competed against Um, so you think you think there's anything that Having actually competed against both, is there anything that you think that you could do to 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 better your your performance or probably pull I mean, off a win? <laughs> I mean, you you have confidence, you know, knowing that you've competed against the best all the time. Mm-hmm. Um, so that that allows you to know, say, all right, if you can compete against him, then everybody else you can compete against. Everybody uh, level playing field. Yeah, everybody yeah. Else. <laughs> so that gives you gives you a whole different level of confidence to compete against him. But other than that, I mean, he's a guy that will give you advice, he'll talk to you, you have conversations. So I think, I don't, I don't know. So you, you have had advice? I mean, or like just random conversation? Oh yeah, random conversation. The, fr- the one thing I asked him was, do you get nervous? That was the question I asked him and he said yes. He always gets nervous. His first race of the year, every time he's nervous. But, you know, that's just part of it, because right. you don't know if you're going to run fast or you're going to run slow, but you're going to be nervous. A typical human, yeah. Yeah, nobody's a robot, you know? <laughs> yeah. so yeah, 
what? And my mom started looking nervous, man. <laughs> so when he said that, I was just like, oh, wow, all right. If this man can get nervous, then it's okay for me to get nervous. Because a lot of times yeah. people don't feel like it's okay to be nervous. Right. And that's what I was just about to say now. Like, you know, must that probably calm your nerves a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> so it allowed me to believe, like, okay, all right, I'm normal that it's nervous, but you right. can still perform at a high level. Before you control the nerves, though, because sometimes the nerves can get a bit tired, you know. <laughs> I if think, you don't control it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I think one of the big things is admitting that you're nervous, you know. Mm-hmm. A lot of people have a fear of saying that they're nervous, and they're like, oh, no, 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 I'm not nervous, but they are. So right. once you can know within yourself that you can admit that you're nervous, that's, that's first. You're, you're already ahead of the game. And then, right. you know, everybody has their own ways of, of getting you their nerves away they either talk a lot or they go <laughs> listen to music right, or right. they you know pray so, so what's your what's your strategy I, I think music is one of my big things okay. but it just depends on the mood you know sometimes you're, you're nervous but you're super excited mm-hmm. so you want to calm yourself down so you listen right. to some you know calmer music, music yeah. Yeah. yeah or or sometimes you know you're nervous and it keeps you it keeps you so low so you listen to something to get you excited. Hip hop, yeah. yeah. So that's that's my big thing, and I, I learned it over, you know, trial and error. And, you know, sometimes it, some people will take like Red Bull, get them really pumped and whatever. So everybody's different, but that's yeah. what works for me. Yeah. And as you as you mentioned, Red Bull though, um, I know that like athletes in terms of the whole you know drugs and and banned substances that mm-hmm. you're not allowed to use, right? You have to be constantly thinking about and watching what they eat, what they drink, you know. Yeah, all the time. You know, anywhere you go, you know, you got to make sure you are in control of something. I mean, like, now in the young times, people are taking different designer drugs and, and right. having fun with it. Uh, and I have no problem with them doing it, but, you know, I can't do it because of my job. Right, and right. You right. can't, in, in, you can't in, endure it. Yeah. <laughs> so we just make the young people go and have them fun. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, come from... You know, anything can happen. I mean, people always talk about tainted meat, and you know, they put steroids in the meat to <laughs> get them up. And I, I mean, I don't know if it's true, but right. you know, if that's the case, if that's genuinely the case, and you know, you have to watch even what you eat, like right, in terms right. of beef and those different things. So, you, you touch on the meat. <laughs> no, when it comes down to food, yeah. like, what, what's what's your diet like, though? I mean, I'm pretty relaxed with my diet. I okay. mean, unless I start putting on weight, then I get serious and start to eat mm-hmm. some more vegetables and fruits. But I mean, usually it's just regular rice, chicken, yeah, curry goat. Those so, things. So, so, <laughs> so here all go on now because remember saying say, you know, everybody there talk about the yam. Yeah. And them things there from Chile anyway. <laughs> Both eat up it up. <laughs> so, yeah. Does that ever play in my like you say? Yo, I wonder if I really chew. Maybe <laughs> beat some yam and dashi, you know. <laughs> you know, you know, when when you go like your granny or somebody yeah. else, I say, you know, so you look weak. You need you need some yeah. banana or some yam. Parents always say that. <laughs> yeah. So you know, I, maybe it works. Yeah. I just eat it if if I get it. If, if today yam is on the meal, yeah. I already made it. Then yeah, it works with it. Yeah. So anything I get. You have a you have a favorite. <laughs> Meal? Mm-hmm. Uh, curry is my favorite meal. Curry what? Yeah. Okay. And then chicken. Curry chicken. And then curry chicken. So a uh, curry man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. And the rice. Well right rice. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Well that's that's the real way to have the curry. Yeah, the, yeah man. <laughs> So, so people eat curry, curry chicken or curry goat with rice and peas. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, it probably tastes good now, yeah, but it yeah. just look around. <laughs> yeah. Back to the track and field though. Yeah. What is it that you are looking for to, to achieve in the span of your career? That, you know, like what is the ultimate for you? Uh, definitely winning the Olympics. That's the ultimate. Mm-hmm. Um, it's the highest level of the sport. And if I can win the Olympics, then... I know that my career is solid. Solid. But, I mean... That's just like an artist winning the Grammys are, are so bad. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, and and you know what? I think it's it might be easier to win the Grammys than it is to win. Mm. Win uh, But it might not be. But you have... Your, like, if you make a song, or you yeah. as an artist, you can go in different categories. Right. Whereas me, I have one chance in one event. One. <laughs> you get where I'm coming from? True, true. So, maybe i don't know i'm not gonna tell 
They want no artists come and bash me and say, me I tell them say it's the hard way. You know. But, but we understand. We yeah, understand yeah, yeah, but, yeah. Um, it's definitely like that. Same thing, you know, highest level, winning the award at the highest level, and and being able to do that. And don't get me wrong, I don't. I'm not gonna say my career won't be successful if I don't do that. Right, right. Then you know, how much ever billion people in the world, there's only three medals. Exactly. And then to win, only one person can do it. Makes that's it even true. harder. So I don't want to say that's gonna take that doesn't determine the, the, yeah, the yeah. success of it. You know, there's Definitely. also, of course, personal accolades and pers- mm-hmm. personal success that you can I can achieve to right. uh, running running faster times, being in the top fifty all time mm-hmm. world, you know, for the world and those things will yeah. also be definitely. I know persons sometimes once they hear that there's a, a, a Jamaican connection, I say, yeah, so on F I come represent <laughs> You know but how does I, that work? Like persons anybody has ever approached the uh, people always ask, ask me the question. It, yeah. yeah, people always ask me the question. I, I mean, you know, at the early stages of my career that was what I wanted to do, represent Jamaica. Okay. I mean. But it just happened that you know, my father was like, you know, represent Canada, you're going there. He mm-hmm. said, okay, no problem. Um, I don't regret this decision because, you know, Canada has done well, we have done well as a right. you know, country while I've been competing for them. But, you know, it's always nice to, you know, see the crowd and you always see the J- Jamaican representation yeah. and persons from Jamaica there. And as much as, you know, I represent Canada. They're still gonna say, you know, you're Jamaican, and right, they, so right. you know that the love, yeah, that, strength and sure yeah, yeah, the love, it. the love that they give is 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 second to none. No one, nowhere else in the right. world gives you that love. So you know that that would be one of the things that I would want to, you know, feel. As, as, as I love me with the beat board. <laughs> you probably wouldn't feel so much love. I don't know. I mean, who has be, who has beaten both at the championships? <laughs> exactly. No one has ever. So, so yeah. that was like, yeah, a way out. <laughs> you know, so yeah, man. So. But that means that Jamaica will always show love, Reggie. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. yeah, man. And that's I love that. What 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 is you love about Jamaica though? Like in terms of the, the culture. I mean, the culture. It, all right, you'll never find a Jamaican culture anywhere else other than being in Jamaica. So, well, you might find it with the people that live outside, but right. the culture is, you know, you get to sit down and talk and have a drink. And, yeah. you know, when you're, way, when you're in North America, it's just work and home, work and home. You don't see your, your neighbors. You don't know them. Yeah. Um, so those things are, are, are something that, that you I'll always love. And food, music, entertainment, all of those things in one, you know, Jamaica culture is like, Jamaica sleeps, but never sleeps. There's a party every Definitely. night in Jamaica. Definitely. Party every night. There's, you know, food. You can always have great food. You know, if you're coming home from a party, you see a man jerking it's a chicken. Pan chicken yeah. one. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so those things are great. Um, And you don't get that everywhere. Right. In most places, you don't. I mean, you'll be in Europe and you're trying to get food at 11 o'clock and everywhere's closed. Yeah. So. No, uh, I just those those are some great things that I li- I, I love about Jamaica. Mm-hmm. And, uh, things that you and, and and you say you're you're here. You visit Jamaica often, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like how, how often will you say like, every like, twice a year or every year? Or Probably like <laughs> five, six times a year. That, yeah, that's all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we say we basically live by one only for Jamaica, you know. <laughs> So, a good amount of times I'm here. I'm, yeah, five, six, seven times a year. Yeah. Yeah. And and do people like readily identify you as, you know, a Canadian sprinter? Or ah, sometimes, sometimes, you know. I mean, I, I don't want to say nothing bad, but you know, police might stop you and see you. Say, oh, runner, run, run, all right, yeah. And and we know how it go, but <laughs> yeah, but. <laughs> But yeah, yeah, you know, you get sometimes, um, not all the time, but you know, if I'm in Canada, of course, I'm probably more identifiable. Right, right, right. You know, but I would love to be more identifiable everywhere in the world. So, just got to do better. Right? <laughs> you know, when, when the goal forward. <laughs> yeah, you know. In terms of like, entertainment now, yeah. um, what do you do, you know, outside of training, 
you know, because training is work. You know? Yeah, that yeah. is your work. You know what? I, I used to do a lot. I don't do a lot anymore. Mm-hmm. So uh, I might go to dinner once in a while. Uh, you might catch me at an occasional party, but for the most part, I stay home, watch TV, watch movies. Yeah. That's that's my entertainment. No, home, home. No, home, no. Home, yeah, home. yeah. When I was younger, totally different. I would be out every weekend. The man make it sound like say I'm about <laughs> 50 years old now. Reggie, stop. I made the thing look so hard. <laughs> I made the thing look so hard. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, I mean now, I right now I'm in off season, so I might go to a hotel, yeah. enjoy it. Yeah, man. I might go to some parties. Mm-hmm. You know, one day I'm gonna throw some parties. There you go. I used to do that in college. Um, we used to have a party every year. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but um, yeah. You, you know, come show two party jam down. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Bring Musca, <laughs> one of them big artists. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, you mentioned artists. Um, you you have your your, your favorites. Like, I mean, if, if if we if we tap into like your <laughs> your playlist now, like, what 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 does what would that look like? Yeah, sound like? I was asked this question maybe two days ago. I think there would be Massacre. Yeah. You have Joshi. Yeah. Uh, you know, you're gonna have Cartel. Everybody has that. Yeah. Um, Skeng. Those are those those are the big artists right now around the world. Yeah, you know, if if somebody comes out with a hot song, I'm gonna listen to it, even if it's like Jada or okay. Shensia, you know, just it all depends on the song. You know, I'm, I'm, I listen to anything once it's good. Okay, and sometimes it's not good, but I listen to it too. But <laughs> just, just uh, probably yeah, yeah, you know, you yeah, hear a song or somebody tells you, oh, that song's good, and then I listen and it's like ah, it's okay. But yeah, that's those are like. Those are on my place, and then you have Drake, of course. Right, right, right. Um, I don't know who else, but yeah. Alright. So, so you, so outside of like dance or reggae, mm. you you listen to other genres. Yeah, yeah. I like like I said, I listen to Drake, the Future, Drake. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, Migos, Cardi B, Bobby Shmurda. Yeah, what, what, what about the, the, the Afro Afro music? Oh yeah, Burner Boy is number one on my, my, my list right now. Yeah, Burner Boy, be loving yeah. that man. Yeah, Burner Boy, Wizkid, uh, those are my top two the Afro beats. But yeah, um, I don't even know the person that sings the song Finesse. I don't remember their name, but yeah. the song's good. I know the song, you know. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, you 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 have doubled into the entertainment because you say you say throw parties in yeah, college. Yeah. But outside of that, though, have you, you know, explored any any other aspect of the entertainment? Not really. Mm-hmm. really. Um, that, Any, anything that 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 raises your, your, your curiosity, though, like you know, say, you know, want to try that one day, experiment with that one day, produce a song one day. <laughs> <laughs> no, <You know>, what? <laughs> Probably not. Yeah, if, 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 if I was doing entertainment, it would be more on like the media side, like videography or okay. photogra- mm-hmm. photography and those things. Um, so I think that's the side I would more go into, like content creation, right? You know, right being right. there. Um, but yeah, definitely throwing parties, being party promoter. <laughs> you know, I, I like to see people enjoying themselves because right. of something that I put together. You know, that would be. I, I would go back down that road. It's it's a lot of work. Yeah. But I would definitely go down that road. All right. So Brendan, after track and field, what what what? Where where is your life looking like? <laughs> when when you know when I'm done when ah uh, you know one of the things that I want to do I want to uh, do real estate of course the yeah. best thing those things but I want to start a podcast called uh, Fresh Cut Fridays <laughs> I usually get my hair cut every Friday yeah you know so that would be probably one of the things we just and that probably next door to next Friday <laughs> <laughs> you know so. Um, we just go in barbershop, get a haircut, and you know barbershop conversations always lead to something. Yeah, so, definitely. <laughs> you know, same, same kind of thing like you, but I'm leading on to those things, and hopefully, you know, I don't know, maybe in the media world when I'm done as well. Because you, you did say you love content creation. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, the media. Yeah, yeah. So into that, and maybe broadcasting sports analysts. Um, right. That that would be. Uh, yeah, that that would be one of the natural progressions. Yeah, 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 somewhere in that yeah, area yeah. I'm gonna, I want to go into it. So, yeah. Right. Final thing, just, just you know, quick. Um, 
takeaway in terms of advice to, to upcoming athletes, you know, in young aspiring athletes? Just give them a word of advice. Or well, believe in yourself. You know? I mean, if you don't believe in yourself, no one's going to believe in you. So, you know, once you have confidence in yourself, then of course, you know, other people will start to have confidence in you and, and think, you know, you really can do it. Yeah. So, I definitely, that's my biggest advice and that's my biggest takeaway. Definitely. From, from my career. Definitely. Brendan. Ah, bless you. It was a joy. Yes, yes. I wouldn't have reasoned with your star. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, yeah, man, I'm full joy the rest of the time. Yeah, we, you know, here in Jamaica, I mean, even though a regular, <laughs> they're a regular, but, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Full joy time, yeah. Man. Thank you. you know. And oh, how could I forget this? Well, you're not really too to the party thing, but you're, you're not catching on the dance move them yet. Right? <laughs> yeah, you one and two. Which, which one? You, you know the name of them? Stir uh, fry. Stir fry? Yeah, yeah. Stir fry. There you have it. <laughs> Another exciting episode of Next Friday. Now be sure to go and subscribe, share, like, click the notification bell. Do the thing because you don't want to miss a beat. And remember, next Friday, every Friday, we out. Mm -hmm.